Hello everyone, Tommy the Tank here again. Um, this is an update, again, second update, on my 1044. Um, when I purchased them, uh, the 1044 came with two matching coaches. I hand painted two older coaches to match, but I had a white stripe. I couldn't match the silver. Now I've matched the silver it's actually metallic gray so i think it's quite a good match now quite happy with how they turned out so now i have what i consider to be a locomotive with four matching coaches so we just see it coming around Thank heavens for masking tape because I'm still I still have a shaky left hand. So I was able to use my micro masking tape. I actually painted this in silver and discovered it was too bright. Then I found that it's actually metallic grey on the on the original coaches. So there we go, as it as they pass down I think you'll see. It's quite a good match. Okay, so we'll stop it there. Right, now then. Um, Eric from Railways 187 asked me what kind of lighting I used up in my loft space. I don't have any windows. Um, it's so hot here in the summertime I can't come up here in the summer uh, I have a strip lighting unit above my head and I've also installed um, an Osram LED lamp which I can control um, it even has different colours if I want to be um, experimenting so what I'll do now I'll show you the um, modified Hornby coaches that I put lighting inside. It's coming around now. And what I'll do, I'll just dim you can turn off. So that's the LED lamp turned off and now it's just on my strip lighting which I'm going to replace with the LED lamp so that I can experiment more with the lighting. So three of these actually had the original Hornby lighting but it was so dim you couldn't see them so I've put new LED bulbs in. Right now then what I'm going to do is stop it very shortly. Okay now I'm going to put on my Red lamp. And disconnect the LED light, light in. Okay, now obviously there's a shadow behind me. So what I'll do, we'll run the loco and coaches around so that you can see the lighting to better effect. So you can see it's quite bright just on the one bulb. So what I'll do now is turn the lighting down. Okay, so that's that's its lowest setting apart from off. So now hopefully we can see the coach the illuminated coaches coming around. I also fitted um, new LED lights in the Pico 2 and 8 is pulling them, front and rear. So I think they're not too bright, um, there's not much flickering either. It was from the second coach but I managed to cure that. So here we are going around 
just before it approaches the tunnel again. The last one is actually a Hadrian's Bar, so it's it's brighter at one end than the other. Okay, so now I'll put the lighting back on. the strip lighting there we are so now what we'll have is a bit of a running session because I haven't done that for a long time so we'll have mallard going around yeah I'm gonna remove this strip lighting and install another LED variable lamp controllable lamp sorry and that should give me much better lighting options because uh, again it's not very good to have the LED lamp non working non-stop right Eric also made a video called going bananas there I have the same wagon so Eric my friend I think we're all going bananas here we go Especially in this day and age, it's a crazy world we're living in. Without these hobbies, I think we'd all go mad. So now we've got Mallard coming around with its great western coaches. Whether that's correct is immaterial, I like them. I think it's a nice looking combination. I also like the colouring of the Pico 218 painted in Great Western colours. Right, so we'll just have to wait for Could we come around? Let my boom, let my lad have a run. It hasn't run for some time. So let's blow the cobwebs off it. Now we'll bring the 1044 back around. This is a really, really nice runner, as I've said before. Very, very impressed with it. Especially the sound it makes. It's got a nice wine. So there we go with its four matching coaches. Looks much better, quite happy with that. I might even try and make a couple more for that. There's our banana train. As I've said, this is a modified Hornby Mallard. This was tender driven. I got rid of that. This is now chassis drive with a flywheel motor it's absolutely amazing you can control it down to a very slow speed the flywheels really help so now we'll bring the 1044 around to the station Try it with the light off. There we are. 
so that's just on the LED and the strip lighting now. There we go. And now our banana train is coming around. So as you can see. Before I installed that LED lamp, it was quite dark over the other side of the layout. So now, like I say, I can control the lighting. There we go. I'm going to stop the banana tree. Okay, so once again, this is with the LED light off. This is with it on. This is red, green, blue. You can even have it flashing. That's as you can see there pretty much. So like I say, I can vary the lighting effects. So like I say, as soon as I can, as soon as my arm's better, I'll install um, another LED lamp above my head. And that should improve matters. Okay, so thank you for watching. Bye now.